the moral missing thread. Alright, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. If you are new here, if this is your first time ever visiting my channel, hi, I'm Damon. And this is my not a reaction channel reaction channel. Alright, I'm I'm doing something a little a little different today. I mean I'm doing a reaction, but it's not a typical reaction. I, you know, I've got some I've been trying to get House of the Dragon up for like a couple of weeks, but I keep getting blocked. So I'm still trying to figure that out. I've got it up on my Patreon, you know, uh, so you can go watch it there if you want. Um, you know, donate what you're comfortable with to join my Patreon. You can donate a dollar. You can donate two dollars. You can donate ten dollars. I don't care. Like whatever works for you. Anyway, um, oh, also, um, this is going to be a fragrance video. So there's going to be links to a couple new cool new fragrance merch designs. I have up in the moral militia merch shop so um you know there it, it, there's there's some cute cropped hoodies for the ladies uh and then there's all kinds of like t-shirts and sweatshirts and hoodies and all that stuff um but there are you know a couple of cool cool little designs I, I did that i thought you know people in the fragrance community might like but you know so let's let's get into this um we've got we've got this uh, this fragrance youtuber uh you know, I don't know if he's an influencer. I mean, he's a reviewer. Uh, I've seen a couple of his videos. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm into fragrances, obviously. I've talked about fragrances in plenty of my videos. Uh, I haven't done that many fragrance videos. Uh, I'm, I don't consider myself, by any stretch of the imagination, an influencer or, like, you know, a, a, a real reviewer. You know, I, I'm, that's not what this channel is about. I, I'm not ever going to do that because I just, it's not my it's something i'm into it's just not my thing I, I wouldn't i don't think i would be a successful fragrance influencer or even reviewer i i just like fragrances I, i'm a fragrance enthusiast i collect them and i love them uh, i love smells i like to smell good i like to smell myself but you know th this guy uh i've watched a couple of his videos um i, I we're in some of the a lot of, like some of the same fragrance groups uh on on facebook and I see him post his videos, and lately, most of the stuff I've seen from him, it just, it's it not anything that, like, particularly caught my interest, and based off the comments, you know, maybe uh, some other people didn't really seem that interested either, it was really focused on, like, uh, Jeremy Fragrance and, like, his drama, it really drama-based, clickbaity titles, and this one, this one that I'm going to react to now, it caught my attention because he's got two of my favorite fragrance reviewers, or fragrance influencers in his thumbnail and the thumbnail says shocking lies youtubers tell and the title of the video is fragrance youtubers are lying to you with exclamation points fragrance review rant so like i'm i'm really curious he from the looks of this he's accusing people in the community of lies and i'm part of that community uh and this is in a, a group with you know upwards of 25 thousand members i can't remember which group but you know all the groups i'm in have between 25 and 50 thousand members so you know there's some eyes on this so now i'm i'm curious so i'm gonna re i'm gonna react to this since i haven't done a reaction in a while and i need a new video up uh this is from mr smelly 1977 so uh let's see what uh what who, who's well, who's telling lies and what they're lying about uh, let's, uh, let's get into this, um, speakers, okay, everything, everything's set up, so this is Mr. Smelly, 1977, fragrance YouTubers are lying to you. Batman, Jim Gordon, they thought they had a handle on this city. Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you why a heck of a lot of what you hear in fragrance review videos, fragrance YouTube videos, is a pack of lies. My intros are still here in the videos, but now they're at the back end, they're the outros. People keep skipping them. We've got to get to the point at the start of the video. People okay, click good. to see why it's lies. I'm going to tell you. Yes. A lot of what you see in YouTube videos is a load of BS. I'll tell you what, I'm guilty of it too, so this is no slight on anyone. Let's let's. Okay, okay, so we're starting off. And he's admitting that whatever he's about to talk about, he's guilty of, and no slide on anyone. The thumbnail would lead me in title, 
would lead me to believe otherwise unless it's total clickbait. And in that case, then that's just like, that's a shit take. But anyway, let's keep going. Get into this, okay? You, 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 you tell okay. me what you think in the comments down below. You are immature. You are narcissistic. You're an asshole. Good God, what the fuck was that? I mean, sorry, but that was like, I get that people put funny clips and memes and shit in their videos. I do that, but that was, that was a little overbearing. That, that hurt my soul. We're off to a bad start. Like, I, I, w I want to go into this unbiased and, like, not be a total asshole about it. But that just set a really bad tone for this video. First of all, here's the first thing. People telling you, drive girls crazy. You see that, don't you, as the thumbnail sure. thing, the, the headline. Drive her crazy. Okay. This is an absolute pack of lies. A fragrance does not drive a girl crazy in with lust or uh, attraction to you. 110% have to disagree with that. I, I completely disagree. Um, I have, there's several fragrances that I have worn. And, and now, now, mind you, I am well aware of the fact that I am traditionally not a conventionally, or yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a conventionally attractive man by any any stretch of the imagination i know this i have mirrors i am well aware of what i look like um but the thing is you know and and i wouldn't even say that my personality is that fucking charming um you know i'm i'm i can be funny kind of sometimes but uh there are several particular fragrances that i have worn that have gotten me reactions some very sexually charged kind of inappropriate reactions i mean like touchy feely like really suggestive like just i mean some of them even flat out women like hey if i wasn't taken i would be all over you right now i mean uh, touching me like rubbing my shoulders putting their nose up in my neck like I, I, i've had women whose orientation was not men tell me that me smelling so good made them want to change their orientation. I mean, granted, I'm sure they were joking, but the way they said it and the way they were being all touchy-feely and stuff and just kept smelling me, like, th th these are my experiences. He might not have these experiences. Obviously, he doesn't if he's saying that it's lies and that this doesn't happen, uh, that, that, you know, a fragrance can't drive somebody crazy because it can. I, I Multiple occasions, I've had women and guys i i mean I, I, again i'm sure they were also probably joking you know maybe maybe not i mean i i don't care either way fuck it but uh you know a compliment's a compliment but uh you know i, I i've had women like in stores at walmart for instance i had uh, a, a woman relatively older than me come out from around the counter with the scanner and start scanning things in my cart and then she was just like she likes her she started laughing and she's like i gotta be completely honest with you she's like i just came around here to get closer to you because i cannot get enough of whatever that is you're wearing uh at a vape store i had I, I i had two women behind the counter like when i walked in i just put on perfumes to marley layton like right before going to the store and it, i'm sure it was emanating from me as i walked in the door but you know they're just like what is that smell and one of the girls came out from behind the counter walked around me smelling my neck and was just like god damn and like went back behind the counter and she was like you are a dangerous man and i'm like so yeah since fragrances can drive women crazy i've had women that i've not necessarily been involved with but you know like a casual like talking going out on a couple of dates maybe a, a fwb situation like certain scents that i wear like them climb all over me and just tell me that they can't keep their hands off of me because of how i smell so this is a real thing people make these videos because of experiences like this situations like this women like M michelle curly fragrance i'm sure that you know there are scents that she smelled that have dry, driven her crazy and made her be like all over a guy you know which is why she makes videos about it I don't understand why he thinks these are lies. Let's keep going. It just doesn't happen. It's a nice icing. It does happen. 
on the cake if you're attractive in other ways it, this whole thing is so dumb i know it gets people to look it gets people to watch it is really really stupid can you possibly imagine it is not really stupid we've covered this like it's a it's a real thing i i am i hear i i am like i am not attractive uh, you know in in sense of the word but like i I get hit on because I smell fucking great. That some of these geeky guys in the videos, no offense, have ever driven. That's a shit take right there. I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I know I'm, I'm probably sounding like a major asshole right now. And I'm going to own that. I'm going to fucking own it. Uh, you know, he's like, none of these geeky guys. And then rolls his fucking eyes. No offense. Like, I, he has to say that to cover his back, but he doesn't mean it because he knows he's better than everybody. That's, that's, that's that face. That, that's what that whole thing just screamed to me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm looking too into it. Maybe I'm, I'm reading it too deeply. But tell me that's not what that fucking really like. really stupid can you possibly imagine that some of these geeky guys in the videos no offense have ever driven women crazy with their smell or anything else i'll tell you what actually their smell or anything else so he's no earlier he said no slight on anyone but it just sounded like he's just f fucking dogging every other fucking fragrance reviewer i'm i'm sorry i'm getting a little his attitude is like driving me fucking crazy. Drives women and not in a good way. Crazy in in my experience in life. Leaving the toilet seat up that drives them crazy. Um, sitting up drinking alone uh, on a Tuesday night after they've gone to bed that that'll drive them crazy. That'll get that'll get you a reaction. Le loading up the dishwasher wrong. This is the kind of stuff that actually drives real women crazy. Okay, so he's telling on himself. I told you my experiences. He's saying his experiences with driving crazy are completely not fragrance related. Leaving the toilet seat up, which is an asshole move if you're in, in a place where you know there's women, uh, or if you live with a woman, if, if you're just going to go and leave the toilet seat up, I mean, that's a. You're talk, talking about people making these videos is stupid. That's fucking stupid. It's disrespectful, is what it is. It's fucking disrespectful. Sitting up alone on a Tuesday night drinking when they go to bed and they're mad about it obviously that means they wanted you to come to bed too but you decided to sit up all night and drink by yourself i mean i'm guilty of that i i used to do that a lot 20 fucking years ago uh but i i i grew up uh i i kind of i kind of got better <laughs> um you know and i know that there's people that struggle with alcoholism i, I struggled with alcoholism i'm i'm definitely not making fun of anyone by any means uh you know if you're struggling with alcohol reach out to me uh my social media links are in the platform or in the platform all my social media platform links yeah description <laughs> go to the description you can reach out to me fuck uh, i i will talk to you i've been through it i, I know what it's like but i mean this is this is this is kind of telling though um but the, the fragrances don't do it it's, it's, it's complete lies if you dress well if you're a charismatic person if you look after yourself if you're charming and you wear a nice fragrance yeah it, it, it's a nice lovely icing on the cake don't believe these liars though and I've, I've kind of done it myself I'm no slight on people people in the video thumbnail just to get you to watch just to get you to watch Michelle a fragrance great review. okay so he says he's done it himself no slight on anyone but they're all liars he literally said they're all liars and then he said the the pictures in the thumbnail just to get you to watch just to get you to watch so it's clickbait you just called them liars you said no slide on anyone you picked these particular people it's all really fucking contradictory if you ask me really deceptive really shady like i mean it's it's kind of kind of shitty like you're shitting on people for lying supposedly lying to the community about their experiences their opinions but this is the type of stuff you're doing like baiting people and then calling out other youtubers no slight on people people in the video thumbnail just to get you to watch just to get you to watch michelle a fragrance great reviewer jeremy fragrance 
Good. Good. Curly, whatever. Curly fragrance. Jeremy fragrance. Respect to him, Jensen. So, he says Michelle with fragrance. Great reviewer. Jeremy, good. Jensen's whatever. And then he, say, he says Curly Fred. Curly whatever. Curly Fred. You just said her fucking name. You know who she is. Michelle. Curly Fragrance. That is her name. Michelle. Curly Fragrance. Same fucking person. Like, why are you acting like you don't know who the fuck she is? Fragrance. Good. Good. Curly. Good. good. Curly, whatever. Curly fragrance. Jeremy fragrance. Respect to him. Jensen's. Just just pick three big faces to get you to watch. Compliments. Com just pick three big faces to get you to watch. Because based off the title, I'm guessing that you probably wouldn't have watched otherwise. So, he's basically insinuating, hey, I threw up these photos, or the, these pictures of these particular YouTubers that most people enjoy watching put this title that they're all liars just to get you to watch my video because it's crap that's what that's what i'm that's the takeaway i'm getting from this and uh, you know i i don't I, I don't like being an asshole but i mean this is this is i, I don't like it compliments you know it's all lies how can you have a top 10 most complimented list how many compliments are you getting how many compliments did the top one get and how many compliments did the bottom one get who gets that many compliments not okay well, wait, not what's many say? people in okay i get complimented all the fucking time like no shit like i i don't even think i'm like a very approachable person i'm not an attract i'm not I'm, like, we've covered that I'm not attractive, but I'm not I'm not the type of person that people just want to come up and talk to because you know I look at me Would would you just see me like somewhere in public and be like I'm gonna go talk to that guy uh, or if you smelled me like it, it, It's weird because like I get compliments people do approach me people do give me compliments I don't know why I mean I know why it's because I smell good, but I don't know why like people are, are are at ease with like complimenting me because it happens a lot uh you know at, at the doctor's office at the gas station walmart uh work you know anywhere i, I go you know out to dinner hanging with, with friends at, at, at you know going to a music venue i get complimented frequently you know I, there's very few fragrances that, that i've worn that i have not received multiple compliments on you know and and it's I'm sure this is other these people's other YouTubers experiences these influencers and, and these reviewers I'm sure they have the same experiences and that's how they're able to make these top 10 lists you know it, it sticks in my mind you know I could easily pick out 10 you know I could I, I don't have a massive collection I, I probably have around somewhere close to a hundred fragrances you know some of these other youtubers he's talking about like Ash from Jensen's I think he's probably got like 3,000 you know, I'm sure Michelle uh, Curly Fragrances, I'm sure hers, her collection is probably bigger than mine. Um, but, you know, that's another thing. The, these are two particular YouTubers that I enjoy watching. You know, Michelle, she is charming and funny and, you know, kind of charismatic. She, she's knowledgeable. But her and Ash and I all share very similar tastes. We like a lot of the same fragrances. We like a lot of the same notes in fragrances. And that's another reason I'm, I'm drawn to their content. And very, very seldomly have they ever led me wrong when I've looked to them for recommendations. So, um, compliments. Yeah, I get them. I'm sure they get them a lot. I can't imagine that, that Michelle leaves her house being the attractive uh, and funny and great smelling European woman that she is I can't imagine that she doesn't get bombarded with compliments when she goes out I'm sure you know Ash probably gets a ton of compliments as well that's their experiences that's also my experience you know I I get complimented and I can look at my collection and I could look at it and, and decide 10 that I wear the most and the reason I wear them the most is because I get compliments on them the most like multiple times multiple compliments it, it would be easy to put together a 10 most complimented list like i don't understand how that's a why this guy thinks that's a lie and why it's even questioned why it's a thing 
Like, it's real. People get compliments in real life just because, like, he, apparently he doesn't, which, you know, is it, weird. If he's a fragrance enthusiast and he's, like, well put together or whatever, he's dressed nice, probably has money, probably hangs out with, like, you know, other people of his stature or whatever, I can't imagine that they wouldn't give him compliments. I, I, I don't get it real life it's just a stupid thing we're all i've done it myself i'm then guessing what might get me a compliment well maybe i can just about think of 10 fragrances that ever got me a compliment once again very telling very telling on himself uh he, he said he's guilty he's done it he can just about guess 10 fragrances that might get him a compliment he's just guessing he'll put together so he's saying he'll, he'll put together a video and just guess what might work. So he's admitting to dishonesty here. But he's calling other YouTubers liars. Alright. Or, 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 or fragrances that might get him a compliment once. If I put together a, a top 10. Best believe they are going to be fragrances that I know get compliments. Because I've gotten compliments on all of them. Multiple times. On multiple occasions. So each i was lying to you really to yeah, say these I, are the top 10 complimented like i have a chart about that so just lies lying? lies lies and we have to do it to get you to you're guilty too for watching this garbage you lo see you're saying we you're 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 encompassing the whole community as if everyone's experience is your own and that's like this that's bullshit that's lies 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 like what the fuck ever like this is this is getting me mad. Like I'm, and now he, he's like, why is he pointing at me? What, what? Who's he calling a liar now? You're guilty too for watching this garbage. You lot, I'm telling you, subscribe if you like this video. At least it's different. Okay, so he's calling everybody else's content garbage, calling us liars for watching everyone else's garbage. But subscribe to his video. Even though he just admitted to lying, he's the honest one. Different, even if it's really bad. Don't forget, people, if you wait, want to buy wait, fragrance... Wait, 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 wait. You lot, I'm telling you, subscribe if you like this video. At least it's different, even if it's really bad. Don't forget, people... Okay, that's the first honest thing he said. Other than admitted to lying himself, uh, he said this is really bad. It, it is. I don't understand why you made this video. People, if you want to buy fragrance samples in the USA or oh, Canada or Puerto Rico, go to myfragrancesamples.com. Use my code, Mr. 15% off. Use Link in the description. Amazing site with incredible range of fragrances. Next thing, performance. Loads of lies about performance on fragrance. So people will tell you, oh, this one lasts approximately eight hours. Like you can really measure that or judge it. It's so... You can measure or judge that objective depending on your where you are outside inside where you sprayed it uh maybe you got a blocked okay so i can kind of agree with that to an extent uh like whether you're outdoors or indoors like if it's hot or cold or you know different things can affect a fragrance's performance but typically in ideal conditions you can determine the longevity of a fragrance if someone says it lasts eight hours or around eight hours that's not a difficult thing to determine and most people i'm assuming their determining factor for this is possibly going to work and working like a seven eight nine hour shift maybe a ten hour shift but nearing the end of, of said shift like still being able to smell the fragrance even if it's down to a skin scent like and it's not really projecting or anything but like if people can get close enough to you and still like oh smell it it's safe to say that you can get eight hours of longevity from that fragrance that's i i well, how does he not know this i mean maybe he's just like stupid rich and has never had a job that like uh, was born into money and like doesn't have these ways to I don't know 
I, I'm just being a dick. Top knows that day. Maybe you've got a bit of hay. They don't know any of this stuff. Then they'll tell you it projects about an arm's length for the first two hours. How can they know that? Your nose is here and an arm's length away is over there. So how you use other people. You, you determine it by other people. Like, it, it's not a difficult thing to determine. I'm sorry. I'm getting hostile here. Um, okay, so for example, uh, it, it, it wasn't long ago, uh, I, I was talking to a co-worker. I was like a few feet away from the desk. I was working on something else. I was wearing each St. Laurent Lomol team that night. And normally this uh, particular co-worker compliments me on my fragrances uh, very regularly. Like, like oh, wow, what, what are you wearing? That smells great. Or, hey, you smell great tonight. What is that? You know, he always says something. Um, and, but he didn't. And it wasn't until, like, uh, you know, he wanted to show me something on his screen and I got closer to his desk and was, almost, I guess, right about an arm's length from him. And he's like, oh, man, what are you wearing? That smells great. And, you know, I told him what it was. And I'm like, oh, could you not smell me over, over there? And, you know, it's only, like, maybe a, a foot and a half, two feet difference. He's like, no, I couldn't smell anything. So, yeah, I could determine at that point that my fragrance was projecting about an arm's length and generally with fragrances uh, and and this is, this is pretty fucking common uh they usually project the heaviest within the first like two to three hours they kind of die down you know after that you know you do have some beast mode fragrances that'll project hard as shit for like you know six or seven hours even but like it's not that common so to say that a, a fragrance, you know, projects probably about an arm's length for the first two hours, that makes sense. And it's not a lie. It's from people's experience. I'm sure other people have had the same, very similar experiences to what I just described. And that's how they determine these things. You determine it by other people. People get in within a certain radius of you and then they compliment you. You know, it, it, it's, it's easy to determine. Or if you're walking by somebody you know and and after you're like you know a few feet behind and they stop you and they're like oh hey what was is that you what are you wearing these things you can determine these things jesus how can you smell what's what people are smelling over there unless you get people to go and stand there and tell you and then step back at half an inch or a foot and then tell you they can't smell it anymore yeah do that with your partner or, or your friends or or whatever do the test for yourself you know, if you want to be a fragrance reviewer and you want to talk about performance, or if you just want to know the performance of your fragrances, you know, use other people. It's it's not a, a, a difficult concept to wrap your head around. Or well, they haven't done that. They don't know. They, they're just making it up. They're making it up off the top of their heads. Don't believe them. And I've done it. Well, not that badly, but for me, I will just say. I don't even know what to say right now. He's like, oh, I've done it, but not that bad. Like, he, he keeps putting himself above everyone. It's like, I think I probably do that <laughs> too. I'm a Leo. But, like, I, I just, I, I don't know. Their heads don't believe them. And I've done it, well, not that badly. But for me, I would just say, to be honest with you, this one's a little bit below average in strength and performance. This one's about average, or this one's pretty strong. That's about as far. So what? It, what does that mean? If you say those things, you, that's vague as shit. What is average? Tell, tell us what average is then. Like you're not giving any specifics. Like that. That's uh, to me. That's worse. Like oh, it's above average. Oh, you know what? It it it's, it it doesn't perform that well. What? What in, in what terms is not? It, does that mean it, it turns into a skin sin after thirty minutes? Does that mean it only projects like six inches? Does it project two feet for like ten minutes? What what is below average? What's average? What is average to you? What's better than average? Like as far as you can go, don't believe all this crud about it lasts twenty hours or eight hours. I'm angry. I'm angry, I, guys. I'm angry. I am angry at you. I am so angry. This shit, this shit, why? There is no point to this. It's like he's intentionally trying to fuck with people with this.
This is making me mad. You. So a lot of my viewers, you know, you might have left the video by now. I if want so, to. If so, I've been abandoned. Help me. Help me. Help me. I've been abandoned. Ready to take your career to the next level? Jesus Advance your ambition Christ. at DeVry. I get so excited oh, every time God I drive damn my it. Good box comes in the mail. When I first signed up, I got $80 in free groceries. Okay. These, whatever these stupid little fucking clips of this obnoxious dog guy that he keeps throwing in is really fucking getting me heated. Like, I want to be calm and respectful and try to, like, I, I want to listen to him, but he's like, we're off to a bad start. This isn't a great video by any, I, god damn it, I'm getting, I'm getting mad. I don't want to be mad. Like, I, I wanted to, I wanted this, I was hoping this was something that I could, like, take, could be lighthearted and I could have fun with and, like, it would just be, like, some fun YouTube, like, drama. But, like, I'm really, it's those stupid clips that are making it unbearable. Okay, the next one is age appropriate. This is great for someone of a certain age. Oh, this one's, these are the best for summer. These are the best for, the seasonal appropriate things are a load of crap anyway. Okay, so, you know, I mentioned earlier that I've seen a couple of his videos before. I've seen him do seasonable, seasonal fucking videos. Him do seasonal lists for like autumn and shit like that. He has, he's done this. But he says a load of crap. But you're calling everybody else liars. Okay. Age appropriate. You know, to a degree, uh, you know, I, I have to I have to agree. Like, I mean, uh, sometimes, you know, okay. So it's all really subjective, honestly. And like, I, I, I'll, I'll give him that. Like, I can agree to a certain extent, but like a 16 or 17 year old guy going to hang out with some of his friends at like the arcade or something is not going to fucking wear like Alexandria 2 from Zerjoff. That's that's not going to be appropriate. Um, or like Francis Kirkshaw on Oud Silk Mood. Or, or Clive Christian number one. Like it's going to... Those would be ridiculous scents for like a 16 or 17 year old to wear like hanging out with friends in like an arcade or something. They just that, that whole scenario just but something like Nautica Voyage or maybe uh, and maybe some like Mont Blanc fragrance or you know maybe Adidas or something like that some sporty fragrance sure that would make sense on a 16 17 year old like chilling with the friends um, you know the fragrances that I mentioned you know the Oud Silk Mood and the Alexandria too those are you know you would picture someone a, a more uh, an older more distinguished you know, in, in a suit and in, in a in a uh, some kind of upscale function, wearing fragrances of that nature. Um, the seasonal fragrances, yeah. You know, there there's a reason that people, are you know, I I, I kind of wear whatever I want whenever I want, whatever I want whenever I want. But let's see what he has to say. Why? Because you can wear. A, why the hell can't you wear a fresh fragrance? Or in January, you want to go to the office or something? Cause you can wear Chanel Eau de Cologne or some citrus. It's stupid. It's sh okay, I mean, I, I agree with that. Like, wear something that's like light and inoffensive. You know, it doesn't matter what the 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 season is. If if you're going to the office and you want to wear something fucking fresh and citrusy in January or February, fucking do it. Nobody cares. It's not gonna. It's not gonna bother anybody like uh, yeah i okay i agree with that we, we agree on something stupid if you're on summer holiday maybe in the day yeah you probably do need a fresh one but i would take yeah, naxos okay. by zerzhoff uh for my evening scent if, 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 if you know on a summer holiday or something sure. a bit more potent like him go zaharoff signature pour on you're quite rich i would wear that in the it's bullshit and then yeah in the evenings like d like summer's a tricky fucking season like during a summer day like maybe in a, in a in like a hot place or something where there's like a lot of people i'm not gonna wear something like 
Mancera red tobacco something that's like beast mode and really sweet and like spicy and like kind of overbearing or like Frank Oliver oud vanilla oud vanilla however, whatever it's called you know they, these are like really intense frag I you know I'm not gonna I'm not, I don't want to overwhelm people with stuff like that I've got a cat on my lap cookie I need you to not be on my lap right now I love you baby but not not right now baby not right now sweetheart um but yeah so you know there are certain things that cookie not right now sweetie uh there there are certain things that are just you know kind of seasonally appropriate so I don't understand why that's the thing. The other thing, oh, spring and summer. Like, there's a big difference between spring and summer. Half these people live in California where it's pretty much summer all year round. Like, what? Just... Who? Who are these people? You said, like, you're making it sound like every... The people that you've sort of pointed out yourself, Michelle and Ash and Jeremy, none of which live in California... And most of the other fragrance YouTubers that I watch do not live in California. So most of them are like European. So you know, there might be a couple in California, but most of them are like kind of East Coast. So I don't, I don't know where you're, where you're going off with this. Crap, crap, crap. I had enough. God damn it. I'm not even going to finish this fucking video if he keeps throwing this fucking dude in here. God damn it! You know what? I'm j I can't. I can't. I can't do this. No, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep going. Get it! I I had enough of you. I I've had, had enough had of this. Enough of you and Fuck your off. antics. Notes, fragrance. Oh, notes, notes, notes. Okay, fragrance notes. People obviously check on Fragrantica all the notes in the listing, and then basically they tell you that's what they smell. Okay, some people. I, 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 again, like, I can't, I can't get on board with this. Like, most people who are passionate about fragrances review them, people, fragrance influencers. Ding! I don't, I don't understand. Like, you, yeah, people go to Fragrantica, they look at the list of the notes. They see notes that, like, appeal to them. They're like, oh, ooh. Or, uh, you know, saffron, or, you know, cedar, vetiver, sandalwood, incense, patchouli. These are all notes people know. Vanilla, you know, uh, plum, grapefruit, uh, bergamot. These are things that are, are distinguishable. People, people, people know what these notes are. They like them. They've smelled them in other fragrances. And they're like, oh, I really enjoyed this fragrance. that had these three particular notes. This one also has these, three, these particular notes. I'm going to get this fragrance because of that. Then I'm going to review it. Like... Yeah, they don't have to like read the notes and then pretend like they smell something. They know what the shit smells like. Jeez. Have a little bit of knowledge. They can pick out a few things. But when you get people saying after the third hour the geranium really comes out, you just probably... <laughs> there may be exceptions. People who've trained at perfumery school, I don't know. But for the most part, it's a big pack of lies. They read the notes. If, if, if you wrote that there was a, 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 a raspberry and apple pie accord in there a, 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 and made it up and tricked them, they'd read it out and tell you they get it after. And they tell you it adds a little fruity, fun, gourmand nuance to any fragrance. You could trick anyone... Okay, all of this, everything he's saying right now, in my opinion, is total fucking horseshit. Um, and, and I say this because I've seen plenty, on plenty of occasions, fragrance YouTubers who will, like, give you the note breakdowns of a particular fragrance they're reviewing, and they'll say, that, you know, such and such note is listed, but I don't get that. I don't smell that, you know, and it could be that, you know, it, they, they've just sprayed it for the first time. It's, it, you know, it's an unboxing maybe, and they haven't had a time, hasn't had the time to like dry down and go through, uh, if it, if it's, you know, blended to words, Damien, fuck, 
you know, you got your top notes, your middle notes, your base notes. And some fragrances, the way they're blended, it, it takes you on a journey. If it's a complex fragrance, you might not smell certain notes until the second or third hour. So what he's saying, you know, previously, you're like, oh, the third hour is my dream. I hardly ever hear anyone talk about fucking geranium. Um, but, you know, like certain... It, like tobacco or vetiver or cedar or sandalwood or something something like that yeah those might be base notes they might be middle notes you might not smell them in the opening so uh and and some notes you might not smell at all uh you know there's there's plenty of fragrances that i've i've smelled that you know i looking at the notes i get excited about and i don't smell particular notes in that fragrance that got me excited about it in the first place and I'm not going to say that I do smell it if I don't. Like, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think people are making up fucking, oh, I smell this particular fucking chord. I got to, I've been saying fuck a lot. I say, I curse when I'm angry. One of these people, or most of them, it's absolute BS. No way can I smell jasmine amongst 35 other notes half the time. I mean, now and again. How many fragrances have 35 fucking notes? How many of your fragrances have 35 notes? That's fucking rare. Like, I, sure, I've seen some, they're upwards of 20. Very rare have I ever seen even the most complex fragrances having more than like 20 notes. And, you know, when you get that many notes, yeah, it's very hard to decipher. And a lot of people, I, I don't think are trying to decipher these notes again i can smell it if it's if it's prominent but you know i can't smell a hint of coriander in the mid i can't i can't i'm lying when i say that lies lies i don't hear many other people at all talking about smelling a hint of coriander in the mid only you're saying that Too. Lies. Okay, last but not least, blending. Oh, this one's well blended. I can tell this is well blended. They have no idea what it means. They're all well blended. Otherwise, it'd be, it'd be a complete disaster, wouldn't it? There are plenty of fragrances that are complete disasters. Plenty of poorly blended, cheap materials, like just shitty, shitty fragrances that are thrown out onto the market just to make money. Um, and there's plenty of fragrances that cost a pretty penny fucking a mortgage uh because of like how okay, look at it this way you've got perfumers and then you've got perfumers that are on a pedestal you, they're master perfumers because of their craft because of their blending capabilities because they're able to take notes uh that you know may typically go very well together or typically may not go well together but they're able to blend these in a way that create a new smell that is like intriguing or captivating or unlike anything anyone has ever smelled before but it's so smooth and like inoffensive uh or, or it just you know, there's just there's so much to blending you know it, it's a real thing like i don't understand like 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 a little, so ash from jensen is in the is in the uh thumbnail he had a collaboration with Michael Malloy London uh, and did a Jet Black Flanker, Jet Black Enigma. Um, you know, the note breakdown of that looked absolutely amazing to me. So I, uh, I, I blind bought it based off the note breakdown. And it is such a just rich and complex fragrance that I, I, I absolutely adore. It, it, it's dark it's mysterious it, it's sexy uh it, it it smells niche you know and i've heard other fragrance youtubers say this and it's true i agree with them 100 percent uh i i love the fragrance i think it, it's great and because i can't decipher some of the notes Wait, maybe maybe I'm not using the right wording here. Uh, the way that it is blended, it, it smells borderline luxurious to me. It has a very, very silky kind of smell to me. 
if that makes sense. It's a cookie no. Um stop it. Stop. Uh but yeah, I think that is a well blended fragrance. Uh you know, a lot of people say that you know, I mentioned earlier Alexandria too. I'm not particularly fond of that fragrance, but a lot of people talk about the blending of that fragrance. Uh the note breakdown on that again it seems like something I would love but because of the way it is blended to me now I don't I don't enjoy it but lots of people praise the blending on that so blending blending is a thing it, it is a thing I mean they have to be blended what does it even mean oh I, I made a great fragrance all the notes were there but I forgot to blend them well what are they doing baking a cake do they have to stir it with the I mean yeah you can screw that up if you don't stir enough or you stir too heavy you spoil the batter don't you it's not I've, I've, my batter's been spoiled many times but you it's know the, the blend same principle. What is blending absolutely ridiculous guys let me know what you think I'm not saying they're bad people I love all the other youtubers I'm do saying you? I'm guilty of do this stuff though? too but it's better to just give a Katie Puckrick thing and go this makes me feel like a dapper gentle fresh gentleman fresh and citrusy uplifting a little bit spicy a little bit citrusy a little bit woody don't go on about it for 25 minutes and saying you'd smell all this other stuff it's a complete pack of lies okay again let's 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 cover this it is not lies most of these people are knowledgeable about fragrances or they wouldn't make videos about fragrances to begin with also this guy is here to entertain everybody else is too this is like you know income for them you know there's a, a, a affiliate marketing you know they have affiliate links they have sponsorships you know that people that ad revenue that this is this is income for people you know they're they're gonna hype stuff up but like I don't think most of them are lying I think most of them are, are passionate about what they do and I, I think nine times out of ten they're giving their their gen, genuine opinion I know Ash does I, I I trust Ash's reviews he's never steered me wrong um, same same with Michelle like let's go back to like compliments and driving women crazy you know some of the fragrances she's mentioned uh, Yves, Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Long, uh, Givenchy Gentleman Boise, EDP uh, you know, Parfums de Marley Layton. You know, all both of them have mentioned all three of those fragrances and, and list uh, 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 of sexy fragrances or fragrances that get you compliments, fragrances that drive girls wild. And they do. I've had the experiences with all of those fragrances. You know, so none of this is a pack of lies. Uh, it, it, it's aggravating me that, you know, he, he should know better. Like this video, there was no point to making this other than a total clickbaity attempt at getting views to make money. That's that that's all I can see this being. Because all of this was easily easily refutable. And I'm sure there are plenty of other people in the fragrance community, you know, in these groups that and that's the thing, people in these groups. I see posts all the time like people are like what's your most complimented fragrance T talk about uh compliments uh you know all these posts where people are asking about particular fragrances and you get tons and tons and tons of, of of responses and comments so you're saying all of these people who talk about their experiences with getting compliments are liars you're saying everybody in the groups that you promote to all of these people that watch your videos you're saying all everyone else are liars as well because we get compliments that's the takeaway all right so there we have mr smiley 1970 uh, take on other youtubers in the fragrance community and our other fragrance reviewers uh that was i, I was hoping that was going to be a, a fun video i was hoping i was going to have fun with it you know I, I'm I, I don't feel good about myself right now I, I feel like I got really angry and I don't like being angry but uh, you know it just there are so many things about that video that just you know I, again there you know there were a couple of things I could kind of agree with and I know, I'm sure a lot of a lot of what he said is based on his own experience he's projecting his own experiences onto everyone else and in turn making it out 
that everyone else are liars or being dishonest and deceitful because that's his experience and that that's his practice like he's focused on like drama rather than fragrance and it's it's sad like it it makes me angry because like i i wanted to have a fun light-hearted video which i thought you know might be possible you know a part of me kind of had the sneaking suspicion that i was going to go into this and end up getting angry but i wanted to be proven wrong and i wasn't sadly um but thanks for watching i know this is not my usual type of content i've got more of the stuff that i like or that you like you know we're gonna have some new we're gonna have some siri we're gonna have house of the dragon there's gonna be more music videos of course hopefully soon uh, you know, it might a little bit more time might pass. I'm, I'm doing a lot of overtime at work. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take care of the 11 cats my mom left behind, and I'm trying to build a new studio so I have some place to comfortably record and edit and all of that. And all of this takes a lot of money that I just don't have, and I'm not making it from YouTube. So, uh, anyway, thanks for your support. Thanks, thanks for sticking around if you've stuck around, and I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me. On different social media platforms uh, it, it means the world to me I'm, I'm glad to know I'm still relevant and that all of you care uh, but in the meantime I gotta go <laughs>